okay? I've just been sick. Are you ill? No. Chinese are bloody Chinese. I'm late. Late? Late. You mean late? Late? Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay. Well, do I pass? Push against this. You'll do. Back to active duty. Thank God for that. <laughs> Keep up with the exercises I showed you there. Yes, ma'am. All set for the rope challenge tonight? Getting there. Practice makes perfect. Mm, when I get the chance. Anyway, good luck. Maybe you've made a mistake. No mistake, Doug. Well, how late? Five days. Five days? That's... What is that? Is that normal? I'm regular as clockwork. But we're careful, so how... I don't know. So what do you want to do? I'm 35. I'd got used to the idea this wasn't going to happen. I've only just sorted my own life out. I work all hours. I don't even like them very much. <laughs> I mean, how can I have a baby now? So what are you saying? Do you want a baby? I'll take a test then, shall I? You'd just like to lean back a bit, sir. It's not the first time it's happened, neither. Aye, well, we'll see what we can do. Well, you'd better, or I won't be responsible for my actions. You know what I mean? Morning, Danny. It's a glorious day, Betty. Is it? Because today I'm finally released from desk duty. Oh, hallelujah. Lieutenant, police station, how can I help? Sarge, we've got one. Frankie! All right, everybody, settle down. 43 minutes from first call, not bad. 40 next time. All right, we've got two climbers on the dragon's tooth, male and female. Called in by Louise Dryden, 27. She's on the stack itself, about halfway up on a ledge. Her mm -hmm. companion, a student from Zaville, Javier Olathabal. Arriba, arriba, hombre, hombre! Come on, we're supposed to be part of the European community. They've already started. Sleep in, did we? Uh, who sleeps? 
Young Javier is our real problem. He fell and is now hanging upside down, maybe 50 feet below Louise, who, of course... Who, of course, can't pull him up. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Just get someone on the ground beneath him and lower him down. Not this time. The tide's coming up, which means we'll be lowering him into the water, and I don't have to tell you what fun that'll be in this weather. Uh, to make matters worse, Javier's head is below the expected high water mark, so... It's not exposure or internal injuries that's the threat here, it's drowning. Let's go from above. I'll drop a winchman down to Javier. Get him off that way. That's the plan, but the Met Office have just issued a gale warning. <sighs> Doug? Doug? Sorry. Um, sorry. We've got severe eight becoming nine, gusts expected to reach 80 miles an hour. So failing that, we all get to build a traverse. Hey, hey. Right. Oh. What do you mean we swim across? With that undertow? Swim across from the main line, set up the ropes, get him off that way. It's not like we have a lot of options, Peter. OK, we've got a few minutes before the chopper arrives. So, I'd like to remind everyone that Caroline here will be taking that ultimate test of dexterity, our very own rope challenge. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 7 o'clock tonight in the pub, three knots chosen at random. To be tied in 30 seconds. Many have tried, but few succeed. Especially the first time. You ready, Caroline? Bring it on. Ooh, hey. <laughs> right, current odds being offered are one not only inside the time, three to one, two knots, five to one, all three, a very, very long 35. <laughs> oh, come on. No right. chance. All, all bets to be placed with <laughs> Phil. All proceeds going to a vacuum mattress. OK, that's it. Good luck. Do us all a favour. Place your bets, raise some cash, and come back, back safely. No, Annie. She's on her way back from some teacher's conference in Edinburgh. Yeah, she will like this one. So you ever done the dragon's test? Walk in the park. What are you so happy about? Yeah, this is our last week. Who? Oh, Mummy dearest. Three days and counting. Well, it's not that big a deal, is it? I mean, you've hardly spoke to her since the fundraiser, and that was, what, a couple of months ago? Yeah, but she's here. I can sense her. So where's she going? Mm, Timbuktu, Transylvania. Who bloody cares? Doug? Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Only back there. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. Things in my mind. You want to go up? Um, you go. I'm going to sit this one out. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm better down here. Thanks. Chocolate? No thanks. I don't like nuts. All set for this evening? I hope so. I know I do. It's such a big deal. All those bets. It just keeps it interesting. Yeah, we all have to go through it. It's a tradition. How did you do? Yeah, I did okay. We filed through. First time. How about you? Well, Mikey. Sort of, uh, Stumble through it. <laughs> First time as well. Well, more like several stumbles. <laughs> the trick is to concentrate on the rope. Yeah, don't worry about the time or the next knot. Just 
focus on the moment. And it helped, if you like that, with the guy in charge of the stopwatch. And who's that? That would be me. <laughs> Dragon's tooth. We're already gusting 60 up here. Pilot says the headwinds are eating up the fuel. It's going to be tight. They came straight to us after another rescue. I can see the girl on the ledge. get him on a stretcher, but get him up safely without smearing him all over the stack. That's the question. Come on, I'm low on fuel, guys. Doug. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. We've got a problem. We can't get the winchman down to Javier. The pilot's just calculated he hasn't got enough fuel to do that and get him back to the hospital, not in this weather. So it's the Trevor's. You can't. I haven't got enough time. Javi is much closer to the water than we thought. I want to put Jamie down on the stack. Can you repeat that? I want to put Jamie down on the stack. It's our only chance. At least that way he'll be able to abseil down to Javier and get him off. We can go off, refuel, come back and pick them up. Do you even know if he's alive? If we don't do it this way, I'm damn sure he'll be dead. Don't I know it. Talk to you later. We've just got ourselves a whole new level of bother to deal with. You're going down on the stack. Another? The Coast Guard phoned it in. They monitored the distress call seven minutes ago. A May Day. But with the storm and everything, the reception was crap. They didn't get much before they lost it all together. So what do we know? We've got a chopper down. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. 
I'm pulling out. Not yet. Not yet. He's down. He's down. That's great. Well done, everyone. Tops. A little hairy out there, is it? Like Mike Bayless's armpits. Anyone order pizza? Are you okay? And I'm fine, it's Davy. Please help him. I'll be right back. Hola, Javier. Estás bien? Moment. Quieres volver a casa ahora, huh? Sácame de aquí, tío. Un momento. Any news on that damn chopper? Not a word. Second call-out unit are in the muster room now. Including Ben. Well, he was out with clients today. Yeah, apparently went to Colin Gully, took one look at the weather, came straight back. Just as well. Need all the help we can get on this one. Just bring them back safely, Doug. Yep, you too. Exactly. La cabeza, Okay, I've got you now. You're okay now. I've got you. Thank you. Stay still. Stay very still. We don't know much, I'm afraid. Um, last known coordinates of the chopper puts it here, on the north face. That's about it. Uh, numbers involved, injuries, we're in the dark. Do we actually know if anybody's still up there? Well, you know, they might have got lucky, found a path, but um, chances are they're still up there. Are we getting a lift? Uh, I'm sorry. No choppers. The weather's going to get worse rather than better, so this one, you walk. OK, so pair off, split up, spread out, and let's bring them home. I have to go with you. I took the test. And? I'm not. Okay, then. Yeah. You okay? Great. Listen, Caroline's doing a rope challenge this evening. Why don't you come along and we'll talk? I wanted it. What? I wanted the baby. But this morning you said... I know what I said. But when it came to it, I waited for that second blue line for over five minutes, and when it didn't, I... I 
I felt empty. <sighs> I'm sorry. Are you? I asked you this morning if you wanted a baby and you couldn't answer. Well, not out of the blue like that. Then I'll ask you again. Do you want a family? Oh, Helen, we don't have to talk about this now. I do. I'm sorry, but I can't. I need to know. Do you want a family? It's not that straightforward. OK, then. Well, where do you see us in five years' time? Are we still a couple? Why shouldn't we be? So we're living together. Helen. Or am I still showing your bottom drawer and spare toothbrush? Is that what you want? To move in? No, I don't want to move in. I want you to want me. I want you to let me in. I want you to make room for me. I want to matter. You do matter. That's not enough. <laughs> Let's just give it time. Well, how long? Another six months? A year? I, I don't know. Well, I know, Doug. I know you, and I know this little arrangement suits you, and I also know you're never going to change whatever I tell myself. Come on, you're just upset about what happened today. No. What happened today just means we're having this conversation sooner, that's all. We were always going to have it. Doc, just tell me. Just tell me. <laughs> I'm too old to hang around waiting for you to break my heart, Doug. Helen, please don't do this. I'm sorry. But so far. I love you. And I love you. But the difference between us is I'm not afraid of it. Can you hear me? Yeah, Gordon, we've got a five centimeter laceration to the right temple. Suspected lower right arm fractures and multiple contusions. Yeah, eyes equal and reacting. Mild concussion, but beyond that, it got off lightly. Okay, good work. Coming down. Now it's gonna be okay. That's right. Dancing. The Watuzi, if I remember right. And someone comes up and taps you on the shoulder to cut in. And it was Valerie Singleton. Valerie Singleton? As I live and breathe. Now tell me, did you have her sticky back plastic with her? Oh, no, you're just being silly. <laughs> oh, I'm being silly. It was a dream. What can I tell you? It's just unusual. <laughs> I'll say. I mean, you don't even go to parties. Aye. Well, when was the last time you were at one? Exactly. <laughs> All I'm saying is, maybe if you let your hair down every once in a while, your dreams would be a tad more normal. Well, you think I need to let my hair down? Yeah, occasionally. Are you saying I don't know how to have fun? Well, arranging your ropes by order of colour isn't everyone's idea of fun. Length. I arrange my ropes in order of length. <laughs> it's my rucksacks I arrange in order of colour. Oh, my <laughs> God! You're worried about your dream life. I'm not worried. Well, maybe you should be after that one. Why can't your dreams be simple? Like? I don't know, like you're hanging off a big chasm in your underwear while your father tells you you're a huge disappointment. One of yours. <laughs> Maybe. That is so obvious. Oh, just shut up and walk. Big wasty pants. Your underwear. Yes, yes, my <laughs> underwear, OK? <laughs> Helmet! Are you with us, Heavy? 
Your danger's great! Okay. Where did you learn to climb like that? Oh, misspent youth. Hey, I don't have appearances for you. I'm really 65. Oh, yeah? Home soon. How long are they gonna be? Oh, once they get happier sorted, they'll come round for us. Good. Sí, pero si no es que que yo. Sí, sí. No, no. They're going to get your friend. Yeah, bien, bien. Good. Déjame ver este momento, que que yo no puedo tomar nueces, ¿sabes? No, no, fine, fine. We're doing fine. Are we? We're doing fine. Ready down now, Jimmy. Yeah, we're doing okay. This is the fun bit. still be here when you get back. Oh, my God! Do you think he's going to be OK? We'll know soon enough. I slept with the only ones here. <laughs> ah, well, don't worry. We'll find them. This is it. I think there's others. I know. If he's so badly injured, how did he get all the way over here? Annie! Doug, Sani, we found them. One dead, think it's the pilot? There may be other survivors. 
How many? <laughs> no idea. We're on the trail now. my idea to come here. When we set off this morning, it was beautiful. It's all clear and clean. We could swim across the water, we're so calm. Hard to believe now. On the way up, Javier was... He said it was the best climb of his life. see what happened. One minute he was above me, making good progress. Then I heard him cry out, and the rope sort of jolted. And suddenly he was... Oh, I didn't know what to do. You did absolutely the right thing. I thought he was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, you there? No bodies. No nothing. We're on their trail now. No sign of them yet. Conditions? <laughs> I've seen better. Yeah, don't get drowned. Do my best. Have we gone wrong? Well, we know they're on this path. We haven't come across them yet. Here I go. See where they fell off. All of them. What do you think they are? Lemmings? Hey! Over here! Oh, hey! Help us! Please! First time! Quickly! Quickly! Concussion, contusions, and a suspected anaphylactic shock. Adrenaline? The administrator is on kit on board. BP's 120 over 80, pulse is up to 110. Okay, let's get him onto the high flow oxygen, cardiac monitor. Someone get onto X ray. Thanks, we'll look after him now. Well, thank God, big man. You'll be all right, just stay against the wall, let me through to your friend. Is he going to be all right? We'll have to wait and see. Can you just give me a hand and hold his head up here? <laughs> jelly, 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 jelly. Oh, there we go. There we go. <sighs> What's your name, mate? What's your name? His name's Charlie. <laughs> all right, Charlie, how does this feel? Charlie, we need to get you to hospital as soon as possible, OK? Oh, Charlie, what have you done, mate? <sighs> Sorry, but... His ankle's broken. I must have got this far. It wasn't meant to happen like this. We were on our way to the lighthouse. Raven, Raven something. The raven's head. Ah, that's the one. It's kind of important we get there. Well, there'll be other times, don't you worry. We need to pad that up. Not the same, though, is it, Charlie, mate? We had all sorts of plans, didn't we? Thought we got it all covered. <laughs> didn't expect this, did we? What else can I do? Annie, get Douglas on the radio. He needs to be evacuated immediately. Yeah. We'll see you, Charlie. <laughs> get the radios. Now, I need to get to that lighthouse. OK? And you're going to save me. Oh, the rain. After five years in prison, it feels fine to me. I suppose you killed him, too. Said he could fly one of those things. Listen, mate. You don't plan something for 18 months only to have some pilot screwed up for you. And then make things worse by calling for help. Still, you know, every cloud. What's so important about this lighthouse, then? Does it matter? I mean, would it make things easier if you knew? No, I just wanted to try and make sense of it. Well, why this is happening to you? And, uh, 
When you rescue people who've been injured, or the rope breaks, or, or they've been caught in an avalanche, what do you say to them when they ask why? I mean, do you have an answer for them? Oh, you just want some reason that neatly explains away disaster, don't you? Well, listen, love. I'm a knot that's unraveled. I'm a rockfall you didn't see coming. I'm an act of God. Glove hitch. Very good. That's what I was going for. You draw one of those tonight to be laughing. <laughs> Life is never that kind. My brother was meant to take him climbing today, but he wimped off with a sore throat. And since Javi had to go back to Seville tomorrow, he said he wanted to climb to remember. Oh, well, I think he got that. I think he wanted to tell his fiance back home about. A fiance? Oh, I thought it was at college. He is. Very serious chap, Javi. First girlfriend and all that. Mm. Marriage, kids, career. All mapped out, apparently. Uh -huh. You know, the sort of thing. No, not personally. Yeah, but I have read about it. Look! Your carriage awaits. How could you do it? He was. He was your friend. How could you do it? Charlie knew the score. Looks to me like Charlie didn't get much say in the matter. He knew! We'd been places together. The Gulf, Bosnia, Central America. Ever since we got sent down, we've been planning this. Charlie knew we had an objective. That we couldn't wait. That we have to keep going. If that was me back there, he'd have done exactly the same. Just to get to a lighthouse. That's worth taking a life, is it? And what's so special about life that makes it worth saving? It's time to move. No, no. Meaning? Meaning it's almost dark. Meaning it's a full day's walk to Raven's Head. Unless you hadn't noticed, the conditions up here are treacherous. Meaning, if you want to go the same way as your good friend Charlie, be my guest. Okay. World up here. In addition to his injuries, Senor Olazabal suffered a severe anaphylactic shock from eating the nuts and the chocolate. But we've managed to stabilise him and he's resting comfortably now. May I see him? Of course. He's in exam too. I don't know how to thank you. Any of you. That isn't necessary. No, really. Especially Jamie here. You should have seen what he did today. Ab sailing from the top of the stack, climbing, 
first aid. My God, he even speaks Spanish. Is that so? Right. Jamie, can I have a word? Okay, I'll catch you up. So? So, I've got some news. They've offered me a full-time position here. Or here? Yes, the uh, doctor I was replacing isn't coming back, and so they've offered me his job. Are you going to take it? I haven't decided yet. Are you thinking about it? Yeah, yes, I'm thinking about it. Why? I'm sorry? Why do you really want to come and work here? You could have your pick anywhere in the country. It's a good opportunity. That's crap. Look, I've told you before. There's a chance here of making real progress into cold weather injury research. Just say the words. Not to mention putting this A&E well and truly on the map. It is on the map. Say the words for Christ's sake. Because of you. I want to stay because of you. I want things to be better. I thought if I stayed... What if I don't want you to? Jamie, I've already lost one son. Don't make this about Robert. This is about you and me. I can't. I need time. I need to think about this. You won't be down tonight. I have to get him to call off the search. Just call it in. Then do it. Uh. No tricks. Ben to base. Hey, Ben. We found the wreckage. Three injuries, all superficial. We're going to ride the stormer up here. Okay, nice work. Everything's okay. Bring the others in. Okay, say good night to Annie. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Annie. Nice going up there today. We had our moments. Yeah, you brought them home safe, so it matters. We were lucky. Well, enjoy it while you can. Never know when it's gonna run out. Coming to Caroline's rope challenge? Nah, just gonna go home tonight. Everything okay? Not really. Helen and I split up. No. That's okay, I just been... There won't be much value this evening. I can stay. Nah, goal's important. She I... should be there for the team, for Caroline. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. You're working late. Paperwork. Tonight suddenly seemed a good opportunity to catch up. Well, good night. Good night. You know, I've got a bottle of champagne in this bag. I thought I might have had something to celebrate this evening, but uh, I was wrong. So, fancy joining me? Why not? Base to rescue, over. Base to rescue, over. Annie, are you receiving?
Base to rescue, over. Base to rescue, over. Still no word? No. You off to the pub? Nah, not tonight. Listen, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, I'll be there by the morning, you know? Yeah. Listen, Gordon doesn't know anything about tomorrow night, does he? No. Wouldn't be much of a surprise party if he did, would it? That's how I'm off. See you, Peter. See ya. Base to rescue, over. Base to rescue, over. Hey, how are you doing up there? Fine, you're fine. Where are you? The Mackenzie Hut, yeah? Uh huh. Actually, we're just turning in. Oh, I pooped, eh? Yeah, pooped. Well, just make sure you're warm enough. Light a fire. And if there's not enough wood, send my big brother out. He loves all that hunter gathering stuff. Okay. Well, I'll, um, I'll be careful coming down, and I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. I always leave the Monty Mai. Completed in 30 seconds. Ah, not one. The bowline. Not two. The alpine butterfly. Easy one. Not three. The double fisherman. Oh. You ready? Ready. On my count. Five. Four. Three. Two. Bowline. Done. Whoa! The Alpine butterfly. Come on. Ten seconds. Done. Two. Finally, the double fisherman. Come on. Twenty seconds. Ten. Keep it going. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. suddenly started taking an interest in the supermarket. He'd come back with yards of money off coupons. I should have known. Your husband had an affair with a checkout girl? Every Thursday lunchtime in the storeroom. How long for? Knowing him? About a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> um, eight months. Five I didn't know, three I did. You waited three months before you said anything. Why didn't you say something when you found out? What, and miss out on the coupons? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can beat that. You can? Mm -hmm. It was when we were both working down in Bristol. Yeah. The radiology department. Your ex-husband slept with a nurse in the radiology department. No, not one. Two. Three. Higher? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Try all. Oh! <laughs> the entire radiology oh. department, one glorious summer. <laughs> God, that admire his stamina. Yes, it was quite an achievement. Even the men. What? <laughs> God, I never thought to ask. <laughs> Come on, have some more. <laughs> and we'll be pleased to be
Uh-huh. Hey, where to go the chocolate, Mike? No, oh, don't. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I've marooned you on the stack like that. Oh, well, stuck off about the middle of nowhere for a couple of hours with a hot climber of the female persuasion. Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, it could have been worse. <laughs> Nut. <laughs> Carolyn? For me? You deserve it. Oh, there are only knots. I meant catching the nut allergy. You were quicker off the mark than any of us. Did I care, I suppose? That boy's going home because of you. You did better than OK. Cheers. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you another? No, thank you. Things to do at home. See you. Pretty good. I thought so. I heard about the save with Javier. Now this. So what next? Next. Well, they say good things come in threes. Are you being obvious? <laughs> oh, not at all. Hey, besides, I'm already spoken for. Sorry. Don't tell me, Louise, our damsel de jour. <laughs> she's not her. No, I wouldn't. Oh, don't tell me she's not your type. No, she's absolutely my type. <laughs> like she has a pulse. Oh. <laughs> no, but today she was also scared and vulnerable. And I saved her, and it would be the easiest thing in the world to do. But I don't. I do have rules about that sort of thing, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. scruples. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Okay. We'll get through this. I promise. This will make a great story for your year sermons. <laughs> Have I been after? That's better. <laughs> you did it. Yep. It was a close thing. So long as it was inside the time, who cares? Quite right. Inside the time. Well, that's all that matters. That give or take. Sorry? A little under, a little over. Who's counting? So what exactly was the time, then? 30.4. Oh, didn't I say the important thing is to make friends with a guy with a stopwatch? You know, Mike, I don't know which is worse. That you cheated at something as juvenile as this, or that you thought you could impress me by doing it. It's just a little help. Mike, do you know how difficult it's been for me to be accepted by everybody? Believe me, I don't need that kind of help. But it's not all bad news. Really? No, I mean, with the money you raised tonight, because of what you did, we'll be able to get a new vacuum mattress. You're a star, and the team benefits. It's a result. Mike, sometimes I think you're a really nice guy, and then you put a stunt like this. You know, if you didn't try so hard, he wouldn't be such an ass. And now it's over the How are you doing, Javier? Oh. Sorry I messed up. Of 
Go and check the ropes. Time for the chopper. Can you hear me? Over. It's Peter, Annie. Are you there? Rockface continues next Wednesday on BBC One Scotland at the later time of 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, some men really might be from Mars. Stephen Tomkinson and Dawn French are Ted and Alice at nine.